Do you break into a sweat with even the thought of having company? I'm here to help. After trying just a few of my hosting tips, you'll be more than ready to say, come on over. Today, we're talking about dish towels. I know, not the sexiest of topics, but it's important for not only hosting, but for surviving your kitchen. Now in our house, we have this dish towel, which you can see has gone through a kitchen apocalypse, apparently. It is hideous. It has tears, it has holes. This is the dish towel that we use on the countertops or to clean up or to swipe the floor or anything that doesn't require anybody seeing what we're doing. So it's important to have these, but when you have company, this needs to go somewhere else. And we need to bring out the good towels. And you know what I mean by the good towels? These are the towels that you're constantly telling your family, don't, don't use that. Don't set stuff down on that. Don't use it with the chocolate brownies because they tend to be a little pricey and they tend to be a little special. Like for instance, someone gave me this wonderful dish towel that says, dinner is poured. Now you may notice I've never used this dish towel because I want it to be special. So I might throw this over the stove or throw this, you know, let's just do it, over my shoulder or something like that. But I'm never ever going to use it to clean anything up. Or here's another one. Life is short, lick the spoon. A personal mantra, yeah, always lick the spoon. Never been used. It's a nice dish towel. It might actually work well, but I'm not gonna use it because it's cool and has a saying. Then let's talk about the dish towels you could use that are nicer for company. So when you're in the kitchen and you're still cooking, which often happens when you have company over, you could use these and not worry terribly about them and they're very efficient. The first one is linen or 100% cotton. I would say the top dish towel to use in that situation is Williams Sonoma. Yes, I'm giving a plug for Williams Sonoma. And I don't do that lightly because these are not cheap dish towels, but they are very effective for any job that you have for them. As long as there's no chocolate or red cherries or blueberries involved, this is a great wipe the dish clean, get the last bit of water off the dish, the glass, wonderful towel. This, however, an older towel is more linen. And what I like about this towel is it has the little hook on it. See, you could hook it. Well, it could be an earring. This is an autographed Daryl Strawberry earring. <laughs> no. You could hook it on your finger if you need to and be waving at people. No. This is to hook on a drawer pull or somewhere where you can, it's there, you can grab it quickly, you know where it is because you've hooked it on that drawer pull. It's wonderful. You can also get it kind of dirty. I, for a fact, have treated these towels before uh, for chocolate, for coffee, for something that's been on it, but it will really take that kind of thing and clean up well in the washer. It has white stripes even, but they still clean up. I picked these up at an estate sale, and that was the other thing I wanted to mention. You can get really cool towels at uh, Hallmark stores, at department stores, these that you don't really want to use, but the ones you do want to use, I would recommend estate sales, garage sales, because these have stood the test of time. I have no idea how old this towel is, but it has worked beautifully in our kitchen. I was thrilled that I picked it up. Then I picked this up at Loveless Cafe. Now, it wasn't exactly cheap, but it's pretty cool. It has measurements on it and the transfer of measurements. Like if you're wondering, uh, how many teaspoons is a tablespoon right at the top? Also, oh, look what we have here, a little hook to put on the drawer knob. I will often hang this over the stove handle and let it hang down and have a really good look, but it also works well for cooking. It doesn't work great for glassware. That one would be this one. And now we need to pause because I forgot to get another towel. Now, you might have a super special 
towel, like this really cool Michigan towel. If you have something specific to a place or a kind of people, and Michiganders are excellent people, those are my people, you wanna bring out this towel when you have them for company. It brings up great conversation. I would probably not use this towel for real in the kitchen, but I would pretend like I was using it. Action! I'd say, genius! Thank you! When I have company, because it's really cool. It actually is pretty good fabric, but I wouldn't want to stain or ruin all these really cool things about Michigan on this towel. And it even came in a super special bag. Here's another example of a towel from an estate sale. And you can see this towel has been very lightly used. It has been used. There are spots. There's a spot right here that's got a little ding, a little hole. And I think I saw a couple spots that had some stains. These are perfect for drying glassware. Anything that tends to hold a water spot, you wanna use a towel like this because it works beautifully. Also, you don't have to worry about throwing it in the wash and worrying that you're gonna ruin it or shrink it or get further stains or tears on it because it's already lived through a lot of years before you got it. Estate sale find. And I'm telling you, there are a lot of things like this, a lot of towels at estate sales and so fun to go to. In fact, we may take you on a little trip to an estate sale in the future. Wouldn't that be fun? So in review, lots of options. When company comes, you get rid of that ragged, ripped, horrid dish towel that you use regularly. That just goes away entirely. We don't need to see that. You bring out your nicer towels for actual use, but not around anything that would stain it. You bring out your linen towels that you get at estate sales for glassware, cleaning up, getting a little spot off something. And you hang up your nice towel on the stove. And let's just end with this. Life is short. Lick the spoon. I'll see you next time. Come on over. Now go make someone feel special today.